Hello, poppy seed roll. I wonder how many of you have heard of it. Well, if you're Polish, you probably have. If you're not, well, let me show you on how to make poppy seed roll. It's one of those Polish pastries that's made around holiday times. And this particular recipe was my mother's and it's delicious. It's also easy to make. So let me share this recipe with you. For the dough, you will need three and a quarter cups, 465 grams of cake flour, sifted. Now, I've measured the flour first and then sifted. Two whole eggs and one egg yolk. Half a cup, 116 grams of sugar. Half a cup, 113 grams of unsalted butter, melted and cooled half a teaspoon of salt. To that, you will need two packets of active dry yeast. Now to prove the yeast, we will need one teaspoon of sugar and milk. Now we're going to heat the milk to around 110 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. And now for the filling. Way back, and I'm talking about like way, way back when I was a little girl, my mother used to make the poppy seed filling from scratch but in those days it was easy to get loose poppy seeds not so today i went everywhere unfortunately the only place that you could get poppy seed filling in my area was in the grocery aisle in the spices and then you got this little jar well that didn't quite work but to the rescue they did have this and this is a poppy seed filling it's already prepared, it's already sweetened. So, in your grocery aisle, where you have the pie filling, that's where you'll find this. And if your grocery store does not carry that, I'm sure they'll be more than happy to order it for you. And for this recipe, we will need two 10 ounce jars. And then all we're going to do is take one cup of raisins, put a cup of liquor. Now you could use brandy, cognac, or even plain vodka. And we're just going to pour that over the raisin. Stir a little. And let this set. And then later on, I'll show you how to prepare the filling. So before we start preparing a poppy seed roll, we're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now this particular recipe will yield two poppy seed rolls. And this is a good time to set your oven, which I've already done. Now you're going to bake these rolls for about 30 to 35 minutes or until medium brown. Now, to bake them in, we have some options. You could use a baking sheet. Now, if you're going to use the flat baking sheet, I would advise using two because as we roll the dough and we bake it, the rolls are going to kind of spread a little. So you want to use two so they don't kind of stick together. Or, like my mother did, she used one of these long loaf pans. Now this one happens to be 11 inches long. So if you had this, you would need two of those, and those are great. Now, this one is a little longer and a little thinner. You could also use a pan like this. If you don't have this, Claire found these at a grocery store. Very similar size. So if you cannot find these, try your grocery store and you might be able to find these. So now, let's get going. And now we are going to improve the yeast. Now usually for one packet of active dry yeast, you will need half a teaspoon of sugar and quarter cup of either milk or water but it has to be heated to around 110 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Now because we're using two packets of yeast what we have here is half a cup. Now I have heated the milk already. We're going to use one teaspoon of sugar and two packets of yeast. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the sugar and I like to use a fork to stir this. Now we're going to add the yeast Stir a little, and then we're just going to let the yeast do its work. 
And now it's time to put the filling together. What I have done in this large bowl, I have emptied the two jars of poppy seed. Now, the poppy seed filling is a little sticky, so it's a challenge to get it out, but here it is. And now, to the filling, we're going to add the raisins that have been soaking in brandy, and we just go and combine and mix. So the poppy seed and the raisin are well mixed. There. It doesn't take long. And now we are ready to start making the dough. I have transferred the melted cooled butter into this large bowl. I'm going to add the sugar, increase the speed, and let this mix till it's nice and creamy. So now this has been mixing for two minutes. We're going to lower the speed and add the eggs one at a time. We're going to increase the speed back up again and let this mix for a couple more minutes. Well, it's been two minutes. We're going to turn the mixer. We're going to lower the bowl. We want to make sure we scrape the bottom so none of the butter sticks to the bottom. And it didn't. Great. Okay. Next, we're going to raise the bowl and now it's time to add the flour so I have this attachment here from KitchenAid I'm gonna set this right here this is a great attachment when you're adding a flour or any dry ingredient to the bowl here it is now we're going to turn the mixer on low because if we're going to add first we're going to add the salt and now we're going to add the flour now we're going to add half of the flour now then we're going to stop, but not stop the mixer. We're just going to interrupt adding the flour. We're going to go and get the yeast. Then we're going to add the yeast that has already proved. And then we're going to finish adding the remainder of the flour. So here's the yeast. It has proved beautifully. And now we're going to add the yeast. Perfect. The attachment back on. Let's finish adding the rest of the flour. Once we finish adding the flour, we're going to let everything mix for about two to three minutes. So this is what the dough will look like. Now we're going to scrape the sides. We're going to put the dough to the center. There. Oh, this dough feels great. Now we need to have the dough rest and double in size. So we're going to cover the dough. We could cover it either with a towel or a plastic wrap. So here's the dough. Ready. Okay, now I have flour my work area and my hands and now I'm just going to go ahead and get the dough out the dough just deflate it which is normal you can sprinkle some 
flower on it. This dough is beautiful. We're going to cut this in half. As you recall, I said we're going to have two poppy seed rolls. I'm going to set this inside just for a few minutes. Okay. And now, just going to spread this down. We're going to make a rectangular shape out of it. Now, you could do this all with your hands or you could use a roller. But if you're going to use a roller, you want to be very light. So just gently, just like that. I do like to use my hands when I do this. Feels beautiful. Okay, just keep spreading it there. Okay. It's a great shape. Now, if you're wondering what size you want this, well, here is a pan. And the roll will have to fit into the pan, so you sort of want to have it this size. So now we are ready. Do the filling. You can drop half of your filling right here and lightly spread just like that. Great. Mm. This looks amazing. Now, once we finish rolling this, we're going to put this in a pan that we're going to bake. This will give the raw a nice shiny look. Hmm. So now we're going to take this pan, which I've already buttered. We're going to set this right inside just like that. And this fits beautifully. And now we're going to cover the pan. Now you could cover it with either plastic wrap or in our case a towel. And we're going to let this roll rest and rise. This should take about an hour. Well, it's been about an hour. So now we are ready to brush the roll with a whitewash. And now all whitewashes is egg white with a little water. Using a pastry brush, we're just going to brush the top. Very lightly. So here's the poppy seed roll ready to be served. And yes, you can serve the poppy seed roll just like that or you could ice it. Now to get the recipe for icing, go to our video, Decorating Cookies with Icing. And all you need is icing and a pastry brush to ice this poppy seed roll. Some action, I guess.